government's Gukurahundi hearings, a tapestry of healing or hypocrisy? As Zimbabwe prepares for the Gukurahundi hearings aimed at addressing the painful events of the 1980s, a growing chorus of skepticism surrounds the government's commitment to genuine healing and reconciliation. The skepticism is fueled by a glaring dissonance between the proclaimed goals of the initiative and the actions of President Emerson Mnangagwa. Mnangagwa, often linked to the orchestrating of the Gukurahundi massacres, remains unapologetic and defiant, showcasing a stark contrast to the government's rhetoric of reconciliation. His recent threats to deploy the army for a rain-making ritual echoed the dark specter of past atrocities, leaving observers questioning the sincerity of the healing process. The government's announcement of the hearings, to be led by over 70 traditional chiefs, is met with raised eyebrows given the context of Umingagwa's ongoing threats and his reluctance to acknowledge historical wrongs. The very figure implicated in the Gukurahundi period seems to be steering the ship of reconciliation while remaining unrepentant. The timing of Mnangagwa's unapologetic stance and the threats of military action creates a jarring dissonance with the narrative of healing and justice. This hypocrisy is further underscored by the government's emphasis on Unity Day celebrations, seemingly overshadowed by Mnangagwa's ominous statements. As Chief Nchane Kumalo confirms the preparations for the hearings, the international community and Zimbabwean citizens remain skeptical. The postponement of accountability for past atrocities and the potential misuse of state power cast a shadow over the purported national healing process. In this tapestry of supposed reconciliation, the disconnect between rhetoric and actions is glaring. Mnangagwa's unyielding stance and the government's seemingly selective commitment to addressing historical injustices contribute to an atmosphere of doubt regarding the authenticity of these reconciliation efforts. The Gukurahundi hearings rather than symbolizing a genuine quest for healing, risk becoming a stage for political theatrics, undermining the very essence of restorative justice they claim to champion.